We turn now to Black History Month and a new docuseries that reflects on the painful history of slavery around the world, including in our own country. The four-part docuseries is called 1,000 Years of Slavery, The Untold Story. It premieres tonight on the Smithsonian Channel, a division of Viacom CBS. Its executive producers are two-time Emmy Award-winning actor Courtney B. Vance and actress Angela Bassett. The series includes interviews with notable black leaders like Bernice King and Senator Cory Booker, as well as historians like the secretary of the Smithsonian, Lonnie Bunch. In this clip, he talks about resistance. Take a look. In some ways, what slavery tells us is that resistance is at the heart of who they are in order to survive. Resistance in large and small ways, maintaining language, maintaining culture, finding ways to strike blows for freedom. Lonnie Bunch joins us now. Uh, Lonnie, good morning. Why do you think it's important to reflect on uh, these stories of slavery and survival more now than ever? Good morning. In many ways, I think that people think about how they are shaped by their DNA of their ancestors, but they forget how much they're shaped by the historical DNA. And slavery, in some ways, is still the last great unmentionable. It's something that people don't understand. And so the goal was to create a series that would allow us to understand history from a very personal point of view, understand slavery, and make sure that we can learn from this and let that help make us better as a nation. Lonnie, I feel like there's two types of people, people that know a little bit about slavery and those that don't know. So what are you hoping that people learn from this docuseries? I think what you want is people to realize that, first of all, that slavery has a long history and it's an important institution, and that slavery shaped black life, but it also shaped the lives of all of us. In some ways, slavery was one of the dominant institutions in American life. It shaped politics, it shaped foreign policy, it shaped culture. So what I want people to understand, the story of black folks and their resiliency mm. and their struggle, and how that story is embedded into the United States. You had a very interesting line in the documentary, Lonnie. You said, you want to shut down a dinner party? Start talking about slavery. But you said it's so important. I thought that was actually pretty funny. True. And it's also very true, as Nate points out. It's so true. But you also said it's such an important conversation to have because without talking about slavery, it's like looking at yourself with just one eye. Mm. In, in many ways, that we as Americans really are selective with the way we understand history. And I think it's important, as really President George Bush said at the opening of the museum, that a great country looks at its history, confronts its history, and has learned from its history. And I think that's what history is. This reservoir that will teach us who we once were, contextualize who we are, and maybe point us towards a better shared future. Yeah, but Lonnie, we've, we've learned anything from the last two years. We've learned that there's a good, solid portion of Americans who think that looking at our history is an exercise in guilt and they would rather just look forward, not back. I hear you making the case for it, and it's an important one. Help us understand why you decided to open this series with a focus on resistance. One of the things that happened when I was building the African American Museum was people would come to me, African Americans, and say they were embarrassed by slavery. And I wanted people to understand that I just hope we're as strong as our enslaved ancestors. So I wanted people to see that folks were not broken, that they found ways to find resiliency and to find hope. Yeah, you said slaves often made the impossible possible. One thing that stood out to me when we talk about slavery, it's often in the lens of economics. You said very little time is spent on the trauma of slavery, which I think is such, a, such an important aspect as to who we are and how we became who we became. In many ways, that trauma has shaped us all. And so what you hope is that people begin to understand the depths of that trauma and really the continuing resonance of enslavement. Um, while it was something that legally ended over 150 years ago, its impact stayed with us. And so what we wanted was people to just understand that it's okay to shine a light on the dark corners of history because we're made better when we're in that light. Lonnie, uh, as a historian, I'm curious about your, uh, your perspective on two new museums approved by Congress, the Museum of the American Latino and a uh, American Women's History Museum. Uh, what does it mean for these to be commissioned and for the planning to begin? 
Well, as somebody that lived through creating a museum, what I realized is by creating the American Women's History Museum and the National Museum of the American Latino, what you're doing is allowing the Smithsonian to create different portals into people coming to understand what it means to be an American. These are crucially important stories that are worthy not just of the Smithsonian, but are worthy of America. And so I'm excited about the challenge of crafting two museums that will tell America's story through different lenses. Lonnie, thank you so much. Docuseries like these are necessary. Mm -hmm. History Untold is a history that is at risk of being lost. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. 1,000 Years of Slavery, The Untold Story premieres tonight on the Smithsonian Channel.